What's going on guys, Sodas here, and this is my first jet gameplay because I have recently learned how to fly their airplanes finally, at least at least decently. I'm nowhere near like a good good jet pilot at least, but ever since the last patch everyone knows that the attack helicopters, which is what I've used to use all the time before, are basically just giant paperweights that just get in the way and are, are death traps for the for the most part now and uh <laughs> Battlefield 3 and so basically what happens is is I've been switching vehicles trying to find a new weapon and when armored kill first came out I was using the artillery vehicle and You know that kind of got boring after a while and it was hard to get lots of kills and stuff And so basically what I started doing is I started just jumping the plane and started flying around started flying in third person So now I can actually live longer than about two minutes or so because basically what it was before is if I died normally and stuff I would just jump in a plane and then I would just, you know, fly around for a minute, two minutes or whatever, maybe get one one or two kills here and there, get shot out, and then jump into the helicopter, hopefully. But uh, I ended up going 10 and 2 this game. This is one death right here, which is the only time the enemy actually ends up killing me. I was kind of at a at a too bad of an angle. At least I thought I was at a good enough angle, but I guess those tank destroyers have a pretty decent high angle. I don't know if he was maybe on a slope or something, too. But regardless, it was a very good shot on his part. And my other death is coming up in about a minute when I was um, circle jerking with another pilot and basically what ended up happening was is the AC-130 ended up spawning and I turned right into it, didn't have enough time to react and I just flew into it and died, which is kind of unfortunate. But this is only the third time since Battlefield has come out that I've actually had 10 kills or plus in the airplanes. And this is the second time where I've had 10 kills even and so the most I've gotten in one game, one one normal ticket spawn game has been 12 just because I just usually don't fly the planes and stuff and when I got in the helicopters I just never touched them and stuff so I didn't get any uh, I didn't get at them at all but now now that I needed something else to fly it's just been fun jumping into them and flying around and, and getting a lot better too and stuff so I'm able to dodge other pilots now I'm starting to learn the angles of how you need to go down to do your rocket and strafing runs against infantry and vehicles so so hopefully I'll be having a lot more jet gameplay and I'll be having my own little tactics that I like doing at least in uh in the jets and armored kill because pretty much all I'm doing right now is still playing armored kill when I do happen to get on but basically what I wanted to end up, oh, that's where the, yeah, that's where the AC-130 uh, spawns right there. And I just turned right into it. And I think just kind of when I turned, I just froze and just said, oh, shit. And I ended up, uh, you know, flying into it, of course. So, but basically what I ended up talking about for this commentary, at least, is, is how good a gameplay needs to be to do a commentary on it. And so and I, I know when I first started watching commentaries and stuff, it needed to be really, really good. It needed to be just like visually just like an amazing gameplay to keep my attention span. And then slowly, slowly what ended up happening was I transitioned to just needed to be good commentary and I could give a f two shits about the, uh, the actual gameplay. And so when I first started watching them, if a guy, you know, he had to just have a just a beast gameplay for me to keep my interest to him. If he was camping a little too much, I just wouldn't watch him. And basically what ended up happening was is I slowly, slowly just started um, liking commentators or the commentating part of the aspect more. And now it's gotten to the point where I don't even really watch the, uh, the gameplays anymore. Pretty much 9 out of 10 uh, commentaries at least. I don't even watch the videos at all. What I'll be doing is I'll be doing homework, I'll be doing my research papers, or I'll just be surfing around the internet, maybe even working out. What I'll do sometimes when I'm working out is I'll get like, I'll get an hour worth of commentaries that I haven't seen in a while. And basically I'll just line them up on the computer. My TV's right next to me, so I'll start working out, listen to the commentaries, and it's it's something you know that'll keep me entertained at least and a lot of people listen to music i've always just been like a, a person who listens to talk radio sports talk and yeah i've just never been like a music person so that's another reason why uh why i started watching commentaries at least you know but i just want to know what what you guys like if you guys listen to the commentaries and watch the gameplays too at least i mean obviously you're watching commentaries if you're watching this but you know i can understand if people you know don't or can't watch a video if it's not you know just got this awesome great like amazing like beast gameplay and i, I it's completely understandable too although you know I, I, do, I don't do that anymore you know like i said earlier when i first started that's what i was doing was just watching was just watching beast gameplays and it just really didn't matter about the audio and i know there's even a few people on youtube that just post gameplays and stuff and it's just something that i'm not in to anymore at least just watch and just because i don't i don't have the time anymore ever since i started doing commentaries on my own my time has just been 
cut so short now with everything with my job doing commentaries and then school so it's just it's it's hard to find that extra time and stuff too and that's another reason too why i haven't been watching it and don't listen to a lot of commentaries at least lately but um you know let me know what you guys think if you guys like commentary well, not like commentaries but if you guys uh you know how well the gameplay needs to matter to you so that's um that was this commentary and i know there's about like three minutes left there's not really much much action at least in the last like uh three minutes of the gameplay but uh, lastly, what I wanted to add to you guys was I know there's a decent amount of people who do their own commentaries who have a lot smaller channels than mine. And, you know, if you want to send me a gameplay or something for me to use, you know, you're, you're I'm more than welcome to, you know, to accept some gameplay. So um, basically, you know, just send me a PM or something, you know, get me on Skype. My Skype name is just 86 at the very end of it. You can even add me on Steam. Adding me on Steam is the very quickest way because Skype doesn't, I don't have Skype starting up right away when I turn the computer on, but Steam automatically boots up and automatically signs you on. So if you, if you have Steam, you know, you can go on there and add me. My name's the exact same. But, um, what I've wanted to do also, if you want to do a dual commentary with me, whether you have a channel, whether you don't have a channel, it doesn't matter to me. Um, just either send me a PM here, you know, just contact me on Skype, Steam, does, doesn't really matter. Even if you just want to talk in general, you can contact me on either one of those and I'll, you yeah, no problem talking to, talking to you or anyone, you know, just for an extended period of time or at least an extended period of time, but it just as much as I can given stuff too, because it's fun just talking to people sometimes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll have some more jet play, um, coming soon and Really enjoyed this gameplay, and just let me know what's up with you guys. All right, thanks for watching.